There is a question for you this morning. What do you get if you mix Beatles songs with Spanish guitar music? Our next guest has the answer. Carlos Manel has done exactly that for his latest project. It's the next stage in his long-running campaign to bring classical sounds to a mainstream audience. We'll talk to Carlos in a moment. First, though, let's take a look, morning to add a track from his album, Magical Mystery Guitar Tour, and see if you can recognise it. Manel, very good morning to you. Oh, nice to be here. For those not familiar with your work or what you do, you're a classical concert guitarist. That's what they call me. And <laughs> and you've decided that you want this, you've done an album which is Beatles songs. Yeah. How big a leap is that for you? It was quite. I mean, it started because before that, I had already done an album of uh, Queen music with my producer David Young, and. Um, I was also associated with Paul McCartney since 2006. I've been helping him in a concerto that he's writing for guitar and orchestra. So one thing led to another, and I thought that the next stage was to do a solo album, thinking like this, that there's this big division between classical guitar mm -hmm. and mainstream music. Why should there be this big division? Why not? Uh, imagine that the Beatles, I know it's hard to imagine this, that they would never have been able to sing? What if they had only ever played a guitar? How would they have composed this music for the guitar? Um, you tell, you, you, I know you know Sir Paul McCartney very well. Um, did, he, did he collaborate or has he at least told you what he thinks? Well, this was a completely separate project, but yeah. I did send him the tracks of uh, Here Comes the Sun and uh, Penny Lane to mm -hmm. him and uh, as a sort of pre release to see just you know were you nervous <laughs> well i was a bit but <laughs> he immediately replied that he really liked them so that was so encouraging to go on with the rest of the recordings but well, of course he, he plays the guitar himself yeah very well i mean i was into i'm curious you know because you you come from very different styles yeah, yeah. presumably yeah how do you, can you compare styles and learn from one another oh, from yeah. the two different genres uh, it's like um it's like a mirror reflection isn't it? because he comes from playing music by ear not by learning it from reading music mm -hmm. and I come from the other end and he's very instinctive and I would tend to be much more sort of thinking about it you know and I think it's been a tremendous lesson to me to actually be more instinctive that way in certain things and that's what I think one of the great things of bringing it together the classical guitar into what I call the mainstream as you described it yourself and he himself is um, a man who's and the way he actually composes, which is a lot of it is improvising, is also very much based on um, uh, classical form, um, structures. In other words, he's thinking, is that a good idea? Can we repeat it several times? That sort of thing, just like a classical composer would do. Mm. Well, you're holding the guitar. And Come I know on. You're going to give us so a little something now. What are you going to play? Well, if I play without saying what it is, okay. the okay. first one, <laughs> so I think it needs an introduction. You guess. But the second one is um, from that other Beatle, George Harrison, and that's um, Here Comes the Sun, okay? okay? But it starts somewhere else. Let's see if you pick it up. <laughs> That leads us into...
lovely. Wow. <laughs> I am absolutely fascinated. Can you just show me again? You know that way, what do you call it when you, you sort of run all your fingers across? The, the strumming and the rasgy other Can technique. Can you just show me that again? Because yeah, it's, it's sure. like a work of art seeing your fingers. <laughs> It's like a fan opening up across oh, the. Lovely. Are there certain Beatles songs that are harder to play, sort of solo on the guitar than yeah, others? Yeah, there were some which don't would sound terribly artificial. So I mean, that one I think just sounds so happy, doesn't it? You've got that tune ringing, and the, of course, putting a little bit of that Spanish-style strumming, rasgado the technique, sort of lifts it into something else, and hopefully you think you smile at that and you think, oh, that sounds great. Um, so your album's out. You're also talking. You just mentioned you're working with Paul McCartney on this guitar. Concerto. Yeah, he, he he's writing a concerto for guitar and orchestra. Right. And, and he asked me to help him with the aspects of the classical guitar and the notation of it. And so I've been doing that, you know, since about two thousand and six. Right. Here we can see pictures of you uh, of you working on it. Oh, um, yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna work, is it? Oh, <laughs> I've told him we've got enough stuff there for about two concertos. Really? I mean, it's so prolific, just have to reduce it. And we've got uh, Gaz Coombs coming in a few minutes' time from Supergrass, who's playing all the instruments on his new album. Wow. Yeah. Do you play other instruments? I, I do play the mandolin a bit, and I've played the lute, mm -hmm. and I've played the South American charango. So, I mean, they're all string instruments, and I did start on the classical violin, but I left that behind. Leave it, leave it to Nigel Kennedy, I think. Uh, very good. It's been lovely to see you here today. Lovely to meet you. you, you. Want to catch you me? Clicking your, clicking your knuckles that. there. But if you want to catch me live tomorrow, on tomorrow Saturday, isn't it? Yes, yes. yes. So I'm playing in Marlow, Buckinghamshire. I'm doing all the, everything I've done so far today, including Strawberry Fields, will be on oh, in, the, in the concert in Marlow tomorrow night. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Oh, for real us. pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so and much. We should let you know as well that Carlos's uh, latest album, The Magical Mystery Guitar Tour, is out right now. Thank you.